Well, it's a story that we've covered a number of times recently. Schools canceling classes or going remote because of school threats. It's been more than 24 hours now since police stopped a potential school shooter in St. Louis County. And we're getting these images from police from the phone of that teenager, which showed that he was heavily armed. Now that charged and while police continue to investigate just how he got the guns, more threats continue. First Lord Force Melanie Johnson is hearing from parents who are concerned for their children's safety in their schools. This video shows a former Rittner School District student waving a gun on Instagram. He's the same teen found armed on Husky Academy's campus Tuesday. We're blurring his face because he's a minor. That kid's picture should be on, on the news. Jim Key sent his daughter to school Wednesday after investigators arrested this teen shown in these pictures with a firearm. This makes threat number three for the district in one week. I think parents need to get more involved and see what their kids are doing with their social media accounts. Show these other kids that are thinking about making a threat similar to this uh, to, uh, to think twice before they do that. Ring video shows St. Anne police finding a loaded Glock handgun with an extended magazine in a nearby neighborhood. Investigators say he tried to get rid of it while running from officers. Governor Mike Person commended the Rittner community on X, calling the response quick and thorough and going on to say law enforcement prevented a horrible situation for Missouri students. We had detectives up at 9 o'clock last night, at midnight, at, at 1, 2, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. St. Louis police also investigating a shooting threat made Tuesday night on this social media post, listing several St. Louis public schools and showing a gun. We're going to find the person who posted it, and we're going to hold them accountable. Flip for Life, a St. Louis City Charter School also listed. They decided to go virtual Wednesday as a result. Late Wednesday night, East St. Louis schools revealed in a letter to parents a suspect believed to be responsible for the online social media threats has been apprehended. But police warn some families are delaying their investigation. Parents are screenshotting and posting the message online, but they're not calling the police. That is such a hindrance. We do know that federal authorities have been called in to assist in these terroristic threats investigations. This is the second team that has been charged with terroristic threats against Renault High School in one week. We also know that St. Anne Police, they're looking to move this out of the juvenile court system to charge these two as adults. We're at Renault High School. Melanie Johnson, First Lord 4.